Hello everyone, this is Gruesome Herzog, this fine, rainy Saturday morning, April 1st. Yeah, April Fool's Day, right? Wow. Here we go. Here's a film that uh, I want to give special thanks to Patrick Rea for sending me a link to review for my podcast. The film was called They Wait in the Dark in 2022. Here's the storyline. Amy, a young woman is on the run with her young son, Adrian, from her abusive ex-girlfriend. When a past rises up to haunt them, they must confront the forces threatening them from both outside and in. Directed by Patrick Rea. Written by Patrick Rea. Here's the cast. Sarah McGuire as Amy. Laurie Catherine Winkle as Judith. Patrick McGee as Adrian. And Paige Maria as Jenny and the cast goes on you know I must say this I'm not a fan of slow paced movies we all know that and this has a little bit of it but it's not a knock not whatsoever because in this type of film you really have to have a slower pace to get to the meat of the story that will punch you right in the face when you find out what's going on. Incredible. As I said, Amy and her young son, Adrian, starts off the movie, starts off with their, you know, living, sleeping places and at a, at a grocery store or, or not a grocery store, like a gas station type thing. There's a cop. They move on. And they walk to the next town, which the next town happens to be a town that he, she grew up in. But she ended up meeting one of her friends at the restaurant. And she took her and her son to her family home. Now there's history in that family home that you see in the beginning of the film. I'm not going to say what it is because that's foolish. It is in the festival circuits. I don't want to ruin it and tell things that I want it to be a surprise for everyone who watches. But there's another story. There's quite a few stories in this film. I think it's what makes this film so incredible. You have you have Judith. That's um, Sam. That's Amy's, I guess, girlfriend. They both adopted Adrian. But how they got it, Adrian, was through adoption. Well, maybe not. You have to find out for that. That storyline was in fucking incredible, and. I would love to say it, but I can't. There's more to this story that meets the eye. Fucking absolute brilliance. Patrick Rea, you kind of made a different movie, a different style, and it shows because it's absolutely surprising. I love the cast in this film. I love the way it was shot. The music was cool. Again, a little slow-paced for me, but... That's fine, because I'm not knocking it, because that made this movie even better to make it sizzle, sizzle, make you want to know what the hell is going on. It is kept you on the edge of your seat till you finally find out what was going on. Absolute brilliance. And the ending of this film, or towards the end of the film, you find out there's a paranormal thing going on in the house. That's all I'll say. So there's like two stories at once. When you find out who that paranormal person was and you find out the real story, absolutely fucking brilliant. I will say no more than that. I don't want to give anything away. But hey, you've got to see this. From what I understand, it's going through the festival circuit this year. Find a uh, festival and go check it out. It's well worth a watch. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film an 8.5 out of 10. I was completely surprised by this film from what I thought it was and what it ended up being. I do want to say this before we go. The character of Judith in the gas station scene was absolutely fucking brilliant. This film... Can very, can very well confuse you of who is worse. That's all I'm going to say. 
That's what makes this film such a great film. Absolutely brilliant. Great job, Patrick Rea. Great job to the cast. Shot very well. And the storyline was crazy. This is Gruesome Herzog. And I'm out of here.